Okay, so we're going to take our 14 ounce pack of extra firm tofu, which has been floating in some liquid, and we're going to drain it over the sink. So you just want to be careful to drain out all of that liquid. I drained the tofu and blotted some of the moisture out, and now I'm going to cut it into six semi-equal pieces so that we can marinate it. My marinade, I'm right at the end. I'm putting in my thyme right now, and then I'm putting in my fresh ginger, and I've used coconut nectar as a lower glycemic product than brown sugar. So I'm taking these blocks of tofu that I've cut, and I'm putting them into a Ziploc bag, and I'm going to pour in my marinade and slosh it around and put it in the fridge for about one hour. If you don't have an hour, you could do it the night before. So I'm just wrapping up my simple salsa. I've already got my pineapple in the bowl and in go my chives and my cilantro, the yummy fresh herbs, and then the chopped tomatoes. And then you can use salt and pepper and garlic to taste. I'm preparing my kale salad of chopped kale and to save time, I'm using pre-made broccoli slaw and trail mix of fruit and nuts. You could use any nuts or fruit that you wanted in this. And I'm gonna pour in my salad dressing and massage it with gloved hands. Alright, I've laid out my tofu on a greased baking sheet and it's ready to go into a 375 degree preheated oven for 15 minutes on each side. I'm going to be careful when I flip it over that the pieces don't break because it's absorbed a lot of moisture. This is also a great time to start your brown rice. Now I'm going to plate up my meal with my tofu that's come out of the oven. Just add the finishing touch of the beautiful fresh salsa that we made.